Mong, Ah Charlie Smith, Chong Panji, Georgia Strait. I'm the editor of the Georgia Strait, a weekly newspaper in Vancouver. And we're happy to be back on WOW TV for another news and entertainment roundup. I'm going to start by discussing a fire that took place on Columbia Street in New Westminster. And it was a very serious early morning fire on Thursday. And it wiped out a building, uh, Cops Shoes, and many other businesses along Columbia between 4th and 8th Street and extending down to Front Street. So this is the old historic area of, of New Westminster, which was destroyed by a fire actually in 1898, which is when all of these Edwardian buildings were developed after the fire. And it, it really became kind of a, a central shopping area in the Lower Mainland in that period. And then New Westminster fell on hard times with the rise of the automobile and the growth of the suburbs in the 1950s, 1960s. But in recent years, New Westminster's been enjoying a revival, particularly downtown, in part because the mayor, Wayne Wright, and the council have been focusing a lot of energy. They're building a new civic center. Uh, Robert Fung, one of the, the major heritage developers in Vancouver, is refurbishing the Trap and Holbrook block. Uh, there's a vegan store, Carmivore, in the area. There's a whole bunch of things going on. And you've also got um, the Columbia Theater, a historic theater, is being brought back to life um, by Barry Buckland and Michael Wang. So New Westminster's coming back, but this fire in this particular block has set it back somewhat. And it has resulted in the loss of, of two old buildings. And... Uh, but I'm sure the city is going to bounce back because uh, they've been really benefiting from SkyTrain stations in the community. There are five stations for a city of about the size of 70,000. And Columbia Street is bookended by two, the Columbia Station and the New Westminster Station. And at the New Westminster Station, there's actually a new multiplex of 10 cinemas. And then you've got the River Market across the street. So I think New Westminster's still in good shape but it's been a terrible loss for the people who operate the businesses in the block where the fire took place. Another story we covered this week in the Georgia Strait concerned a group called Get On Board BC, which is trying to rouse support for transit. And this is in advance of an expected referendum in, in the 2014 municipal election. The new premier, Christy Clark, well, she was premier before the election, but nobody expected her to win, um, but Christy Clark has declared that any new transit expenditures will have to be approved by voters in a referendum. So this group called Get On Board BC is already working on trying to encourage it. And it's quite optimistic looking at results of transit referendums across the United States. One of the ironies is Christy Clark has also announced a new bridge to replace the George Massey Tunnel. And there won't be a referendum on the bridge, but there will be a referendum on transit expenditures.